Good afternoon. Is, this, is it on? Can everybody hear me? No? Okay. Works well. We'll take care of this. Thank you very much. <laughs> have to have a heck word in the crowd. Uh, good afternoon. My name is George Bode. I'm the current president of the Exchange Club of Joliet. I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome everyone to our annual honoring of the Policeman of the Year. Um, I'd like to recognize a few of our dignitaries, hopefully all of them. Um, first, Mayor Tom Gerani of the city of Joliet. Uh, Larry Walsh, our county executive. Uh, John Girl uh, and Jim McFarland, Senator, um, city hall councilman. Mr. Pat O'Neill, our county coroner. And uh, Dale Evans in the school board. Uh, may, this is an event that's been on, going on for many, many years. Do we have any other recipients of the Policeman of the Year present today? If so, would you please stand up? Okay, uh, in no way does any of this uh, diminish the importance in the uh, hierarchy of things. Um, I would also like to uh, recognize Senator Bertin Durant, Bertino Durant. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and also Representative Manley. Um, have I missed anybody along the line? The city manager. The city manager. <laughs> there we go. Is the, uh, is the police chief here, Mr. Aha, uh, yep. <laughs> there you go. Dear folks, I mean, you know, we might as well let you know you're here. Um, Justice Kilbride's here. Justice Kilbride, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes, our just keynote speaker. Okay. Um, since it's the Exchange Club that's uh, sponsoring this event, uh, I'd like all of the exchangeites present to please stand up and be recognized. Now, uh, to get this program started, I'd like to introduce the uh, wonderful lady that's going to be our uh, master or mistress of ceremonies. That's however you want to look at it. Uh, okay, Miss Lori McPhillips. Maybe not. Well, I'll, are the green lights on? The green lights on. Is it on now? No. I'll talk loud. And I won't tell my husband I was the mistress of ceremonies today. I told him I was the master of ceremonies. But welcome, everybody, and thanks for coming out. It was a great honor today that we're uh, about to do with the, for the Exchange Club of Joliet. And if you could please rise as we greet our recipient and welcome him. And it's Tizo Linderis. remain standing for the Joliet Honor Guard and the Joliet Pipes and Drums and then the Pledge of Allegiance will follow.
pump time, pump. Heat tilt, pump. Dab, peep. Now we have our fellow exchangeite Eric Schelling and also grandson of former chief Henry Schelling also to sing our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight oh the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the Please join us for our Pledge of Allegiance. I want to thank the Joliet. Somebody has it. <laughs> well, I want to thank the Joliet Honor Guard and Pipes and Drums. They're always very, very nice to have, and do a great job. And also Eric Schelling. I can't imagine. I'm not a singer, and uh, he does a great job every year for us. Thank you, Eric. <laughs> and now another Joliet Exchange. I, Father Chris Grow will give our invocation today. Let us gather together in prayer. Lord our God, to you we offer our prayers of praise and gratitude. We recognize that all that we have is your gift to us. We ask, Lord, that you will be with us today as we gather in your name. Be with us this day so that all that we do may be done for your honor and for your glory. In a very special way, we remember all of the members of the Joliet Police Department, in a special way our honor Tizo that the Lord's blessings may be theirs and protection may be theirs in all that we do. Lord, we have gathered together this day. Bless us and bless the food which we will share. For we recognize you as our one Lord and one God, now and forever. Amen. Thank you, Father.
they're working on the microphone right now, but uh, in the meantime, because of the uh, great weather we've been having, I did a little trivia. I'm sure everyone's living the, the dream this winter here. And uh, so I have a little, I hear it working maybe. <laughs> Okay, the most snow recorded in the Chicagoland region, and most of us were around for it, 1978 to 79, we had 89.7 inches of snow, 89.7. This year we've had 62.1 inches, and last year we're 51 inches over last year. So talk about from one year to the next. And the heaviest snowfall was in 1999 at O'Hare Airport of 18.6 inches, and Another trivia, uh, one inch of rain is 10 inches of snow, so prefer the rain if it gets, it's supposed to get warm by the end of the year. And the coldest temperature, which doesn't even really seem that drastic anymore, is uh, minus 27 degrees was recorded at O'Hare Airport in 1985, the year before they won the Super Bowl. January 20th was the coldest, but from what we have, that used to seem extreme, and uh, I don't think minus 27 seems extreme anymore. Actually, 24, our average for January is 24.8, which seems very warm right now. <laughs> yeah. Can you hear me now? There's an echo. <laughs> well, enjoy your lunch, and we'll come back and we'll do the poster recipients after that. Thank you. Okay, we're going to continue on with our program now. Everyone enjoy their lunch? Yes. Very good. I want to introduce Dick Tzak, who always runs our, he's a Joliet Exchange, he always runs a crime prevention poster contest since its inception, I probably, it's been years and years. He has a wonderful job, and here's Dick. And one, I think we missed one person who came a little late, um, Joliet City Councilman Bob Oderker. Is he still here? I saw him come in. Bob Odeker, I want to introduce, I think he is Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the Exchange Club, I'd like to congratulate the winners. They do a pre-K, kindergarten, first, second, and third grade. We would like to welcome the parents and the representatives. Out of 18 schools, thousands of kids, these are the winners right here. We're going to start with pre-K, and it's Marcus Andrus from St. Paul's. Garden is Trinity Godinez from T.E. Culbertson. Next is second grade, Isabella Martinez from St. Paul. Second grade would be Isabella Martinez. What did I say? This is third grade, Alyssa Pappish from Jefferson School.
And the first grade recipient couldn't be with us as Elend Sartori from St. Jude's. We'd also like to thank Rick Lozano from Impress Pinning, Tizak Funeral Home for donating the picture frames, and Joe Pokora from Heroes West for the gift certificates for the kids. Thank you. I'd like to introduce Chief Brian Benton from Joliet Police Department to give our honor of the presentation of our officer of the year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. To start, I'd like to thank the Exchange Club for sponsoring this annual recognition ceremony. Law enforcement can sometimes feel like a thankless job. Your continued support and acknowledgement truly does have a great impact on our agency, so thank you. Each year, the Joliet Police Department and the Joliet Exchange Club work in close partnership to recognize the efforts of one exceptional officer who goes above and beyond in his or her duties and commitment to the community. In the past, winners of this prestigious award have included both uniformed patrol officers and plainclothes detectives who have selflessly performed heroic acts, responded to emergency situations, or handled demanding investigations. Quite often, the recipient of this award is not selected based on one specific incident, but rather on the totality of the high quality of work performed all year long. I'm proud to say that often the department's awards committee has a difficult time in selecting a single member due to the number of fine men and women who are nominated each year. Winning this award truly is a significant accomplishment in a Joliet police officer's career. The 2013 Exchange Club Officer of the Year is being awarded this year to Detective Tizak Landeros. Detective Landeros represents everything good about the Joliet Police Department. He is a 13-year veteran who always does his job to the best of his abilities, is always eager to help others, and is a self-motivated worker who needs little direction. Detective Landeros' assignment is a thankless one depressing one at times, uh, one that most officers have no desire to do, and one that is very difficult to leave behind at the end of the day. During 2013, Detective Landeros was assigned to the Joy Police Department's Investigations Division uh, as the Sex Offender and Violent Offender Registration Coordinator. His duties required that he regularly interact with the lowest forms of offender, those that have committed sexual attacks on others, including children. He was responsible for tracking and documenting over 180 offenders who report to our jurisdiction, with several of these offenders required to report in weekly by law. During 2013, Detective Landeros was assigned 75 cases, which involved sex-related crimes primarily involving juveniles. Detective Landeros has self-initiated <coughs> self 12 failure to register violations, located those offenders, and held them responsible for their failing to make contact with our jurisdiction as required by law. Additionally, Detective Landeros made 34 other arrests during 2013. Detective Landeros has been the police department's liaison with the Will County State's Attorney's Office as the lead in child pornography cases generated by their office, primarily due to his past experience in this field. In addition, Detective Landero served as the lead investigator in a June execution-style homicide, which resulted in two arrests as a result of his thorough investigative skills. Detective Landero also assisted in some capacity in the investigation of all 12 homicides that occurred last year in the city of Joliet. He speaks fluent Spanish, which has proven invaluable in countless investigations, and has a true talent for conducting complicated yet exhaustively thorough interviews. Throughout his career, Detective Landeros has received two awards of merit, eight department commendations, eight division recognitions, six unit merit awards, and has been twice selected as Officer of the Month. Tizak is a dedicated family man, a husband to Stephanie, a father to Tyler, Izzy, Tizo Jr., and Mateo. He is a true role model and an asset to the city of Joliet and is truly, truly worthy of receiving this award. Without further ado, I introduce you to this year's Joliet Exchange Club Police Officer of the Year, Detective Tizak Landeros.
majority of the park in the long way you can, for recognizing my peers and colleagues and my coworkers each and every year for their hard work serving the people of Juliet. I would also like to thank, single out one person, who's my wife, Stephanie, for um, allowing me to be gone from the house, from the home, uh, from my kids, uh, and acting as a single parent at a moment's notice for some, for hours and sometimes days at a time. <clears throat> I am honored and humbled to be receiving this award. As uh, a member of the Joliet Police Department and the Investigations Division, I am proud to be a part of this unit and am proud of the officers and detectives that I work alongside with. It is difficult at times for people to see the behind the scenes of everything um, that is done when conducting an investigation. But uh, we work so well together and uh, accomplish our goals in finding out the truth and providing justice for the citizens of Joliet. Um, again, I would like to thank you. And my career can be described as the same that I sometimes tell my kids when they ask me what they should be when they grow up. And that is, do something that you love. Do something that you enjoy doing because if you love your job, you never work a day in your life. And that's what makes it easy for me to stay and work the long hours uh, away from, from these guys and uh, achieve my goals. Thanks again for uh, the award. Um, thank you. Speaker today, Ms. Thomas L. Kilbride, Supreme Court Justice of the Third District, 
And I have a little information I found about Justice Kilbride. He was born in LaSalle. He received his BA degree magna cum laude from St. Mary's College in Winona, Minnesota in 1978. He received his law degree from Antioch School of Law in Washington, D.C. in 1981. And he practiced law for 20 years in Rock Island. He was elected to the Supreme Court of Illinois for the third district in 2000. He was elected as Chief Justice of the Illinois Supreme Court in October 2010, where he served for three years as Chief Justice. And a couple of really great accomplishments that he's had too that I found is the, and that I've heard of as well in working in uh, the county, that he amassed a record of important achievements outside the courtroom. Number one, in early 2012, the Chief Justice Speaker headed a pilot program for electronic filing of documents in the Illinois Supreme Court. And we all need less paper, so that's a wonderful accomplishment. And also, he announced when he first took office that he's going to end the printed official reports in Illinois, eliminating an enormous amount of bound volumes of paper. So without further ado, Justice Kilbride. Thank you. Uh, can you hear me in the back? Yes. How am I doing over there? Yep. Uh, I have to say this uh, to Officer Landeros. Uh, he, he was really the keynote speaker here today. I, I can't top what you just did. You got all these awards. You're ready for the Oscar nomination next. But I want to say uh, thank you to uh, Captain Jim Albritton for the invitation to be here to the Exchange Club. And I wanted to uh, thank and acknowledge uh, the Exchange Club itself for what you do. And uh, it, it's really fabulous, the kinds of community things that you're involved in. But uh, I want you to know that I, uh, I have three daughters. I'm married. I have three daughters. <laughs> I have three daughters. Uh, Kate's 29, Colleen's 26, and the youngest, Claire's 22. And uh, I've discovered that uh, since my wife and I pay for the family cell phone plan, we've got five phones, I pay for them all, I call my daughters, what happens? They don't answer the phone. So to get, stay in touch with my young daughters, I learned how to text. So I got an iPhone, I text, and by golly, they send me back a response. Not all the time. So the parents, if you're having trouble getting hold of your kids, you need to learn how to text. But Jim said I could talk about whatever I want to talk about. I'm not going to talk very long. So. Um, I just thought I'd throw out a random question to the audience here. I know there's a lot of police officers here, and there might be a few hockey fans here. I actually went to a Blackhawk hockey game, my first ever, in the fourth row behind the goal back in November. And for those of you who have ever been to a Blackhawk hockey game, raise your hand. Okay. You know that when they score a goal, the place goes nuts. Everybody stands up, they start clapping, and they've got a song called Chelsea Dagger. I think that's the name of it, or that's the name of the group, I don't know. I really, really, you know what I'm talking about? Okay, I was really impressed. I've never once in my life bought a ringtone. I bought a ringtone. I downloaded it. Couldn't find the damn, oh, couldn't find the thing. So I figured, well, maybe it didn't go through. So I went to buy it a second time, and the iTunes store said, hey, stupid, you already bought it. You don't want to buy it a second time. So here's my re request. If anybody's really an expert at iTunes, see me after the, the event. <laughs> That's about all I got to say. <laughs> no, but I, I do want to say this, uh, that uh, the Exchange Club, I, I really do want to make this serious point, that the Exchange Club is is an important group. And I had the chance to visit with the Exchange Club, I don't know, three, four years ago, talked about civics education. I'm not going to give that talk. I'm not going to give any talk uh, other than a few uh, random thoughts here besides the iTunes store. But, uh, you know, the day in the court program that you do is really important. That's one of many things that you do. The recognition of the firefighter of the year or the police officer of the year, uh, Chief Benton, is really, really important. Uh, and there's a saying, and this is a quote, that uh, the most eloquent constitution is worthless with no one to enforce it. 
End of quote. And it's the police officers, the prosecutors, the attorneys on each side of the aisle who go into the court system and judges who assure that under our Constitution, life, liberty, and justice for all, the pursuit of happiness. And by the way, I'm still looking for a case on pursuit of happiness. Those, those of you who are lawyers know there's no damn case on that. But, uh, but uh, the point is, is that we live in a great country, and I think we often take it for granted how great this country is, but it's because of the work of officers I see here today, Sean and the other friends from the Joliet Police Department I know, that do such wonderful work as police officers, and the benefit to any community that recognizes police officers and firefighters and the benefit to the police department is that that exchange, to use the phrase, Captain, the exchange of information, the exchange of a relationship between a police department and the community benefits not only the community at large, but also the police department in doing its work. Because I know, I don't know if she's still here, Tina, but uh, Jessica, I know you're here, but I don't know if, if Tina, if, if Jessica Colon is still here, the assistant state's attorney who pointed out to me that, uh, and she does prosecutions as Tina does, uh, and, and Jessica, who's an assistant, does prosecutions on sex offenses and has worked a lot with you. And I know that your professional work has been extremely important to the prosecution of sex offense cases, as the chief pointed out. And uh, I watched your representative, uh, Natalie, pointed out, Manley, that uh, your parents, your family, your wife, Stephanie, I hope I got this right. Your mother's name is Christina and your dad, Frank, I just met them, and your whole family, they're extremely proud of you, and that's very, very important, so uh, congratulations. And I'm going to wrap up by saying this. I don't, didn't catch all the names, but uh, the young woman over here, and you're young enough I can say this and get away with it, she's uh, wearing a shirt. Her name is Alyssa Papish, third grade. I don't know if you may notice this, but why don't you stand up? Not everybody's going to see this. Her shirt says, Justice, Love, Justice. Now, I occasionally get called justice, so I don't know. <laughs> no, you can sit down now. <laughs> but uh, but uh, that's just a wonderful uh, statement in and of itself, a young uh, student. And really what we're all about here is, is the future for your children. And I, I didn't catch all the names Isabel, Isabella, right? Because my granddaughter is Isabel, and your names get confused all the time. But... Uh, but uh, I enjoy coming back to Joliet. Uh, that's my big keynote, uh, like it or not, but uh, that's it. <laughs> and uh, I should have queued up, up my iPhone. I should have played that, uh, that song, but I, it would take me two minutes to find it. I can't find it. What am I saying? It's not there. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>
For we celebrate and recognize you as our one Lord and God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And as we close, I know Representative Manley mentioned it, the police officer's prayer that's in our booklet here. If we could read that aloud, please. <coughs> Lord, I ask for courage, courage to face and conquer my own fears, courage to take me where others will not go. I ask for strength, strength of body to protect others, and strength of spirit to lead others. I ask for dedication, dedication to my job to do it well, dedication to my community to keep it safe, and please, Lord, through it all, be at my side. Well, thank you, everyone. Congratulations to you, and have a wonderful day, and God bless.